So today we're reviewing 1917. Yeah, so this is a movie that kind of released different places early in 2019. But for us, the normal people, we can watch it in 2020. It came and out January 10th for every theater uh, on January 10th. Yeah. And what were your initial thoughts of 1917? I mean, I was amazed by the cinematography aspect and just how realistic this movie was. Uh, it really had you on the, on the edge of your seat the entire time, not knowing what was going to go on. Just the matter, just all the details is what I was really appreciating the most in this movie. Just how like realistic they they made this thing. I mean, for the most part, this is all real, like stuff that you're seeing, and it's just it was an absolutely amazing uh, film as far as like filmmaking goes, and just like shots and how things roll. Like it was definitely it's definitely worth th seeing in theaters, even if you're not into non-action movies. Even though there is some action in here. It's, I think it's still a movie that everyone should go see as long as you're above 18, I guess. Yeah, cause, yeah it is rated R. And I think one more in. thing, it's a good thing for like historical context just to see. Like, it's a good, it's a really good, I mean, you should already know that there's some stuff that's gone on in the past, but I think it's a really good movie. Like, we've, we already know about a lot of stuff in the past, and still seeing this now is still overwhelming to see how bad certain things were. And just, well, yeah, to pay respect just, yeah, to the people that are Pay out respect there. to that, that, and then just also just put things in context today. Like, if we're complaining about, Waking up at five to go to do Star Wars ride, and there's people there. Yeah. Waking up at five to charge every feel. Yeah, my initial thoughts of this movie. I really thought this was a fantastic movie. It's I, an effing masterpiece. I really do think it was an effing masterpiece. I mean, this movie from the beginning to end was it like one continuous shot. It just brings you right along with these soldiers. There's no escaping. You are with them. Every last thing that happens. It's not like some pull away shot where you see it from far away and you take a break. You're always with them right there every shot every turn you're right there walking with them in the trenches and i thought it was absolutely amazing the music the soundtrack is great the cinematography is perfect and it really puts you in this scenario with these soldiers and i just i was on the edge of my seat the whole time i jumped a couple times because it's just it's like you're actually there and you don't know when a bullet's gonna fly or something's gonna explode and I thought it was just, it was absolutely fantastic. My, my positives for this film are pretty much what I just said before, how the details are amazing. Uh, it's basically, it's made look, it's made look like it's one shot the entire time, following people around. Like, if someone's, if, like, there's, you see this, like, pond, they have to go around the pond, the mud, all the dead bodies. The you see everyone, you see rats. I mean, the dead bodies are everywhere, just to show yeah. the massacre of just the scale of this. Just the, just the amount of people that they had to film this movie, it's like, there's scenes yeah. where they're walking down lines, and there's just people everywhere. Like, the fact that, I mean, I don't know how they did it. Maybe they just, they overused people. I never, I just didn't notice it. But to have that many people dressed up just for making a film like that, running across the field with bombs going off, like, I'd love to see the behind the scenes of that, yeah. of the process of making that. Like, even just even just the beginning when, when they're falling through the, the trench, everyone's walking in front of people. Like, it's, yeah, so it's, many it's pretty amazing. I, I'd love to see what camera's doing this, because, I mean, there's just one camera filming, so... I just think the amount of detail is what I really enjoyed the most of this movie, and also just following the people, the two, I guess not brothers, but two, I guess, friends, friends that are around this entire journey is, uh, was just pretty extraordinary, and I've never seen a movie like this before. Yeah, this is definitely, I this is a lot different from a lot of the war movies that we've seen. It's definitely, I, I pretty much already said all the positives, how it's a great one-shot it's just, it's really brutal. It shows how brutal this war is and just how not fun it is to be there. I couldn't tell you what was CGI and what wasn't. And there are so many extras and so much <clears throat> stuff set up in real life that I would really like to see the set that they used here. Because they walk for five minutes straight no. down a trench and then up a thing and then across a field. And there's obviously special effects in there somewhere because they, no way did they have miles of space they maybe I don't know. Movie. yeah I don't know but they had so much stuff <clears throat> and it's it really feels so real and all the stuff you're in I and mean, really my only negative is is kind of equaled out for why they did it my only negative was that i wish there was a little more action in it but i mean that's it's a true story and they don't they can't just throw in a random tank fight that didn't happen no. or like just throw it in like the story is what it is two guys trying to get a message to another group somewhere and I mean, it was it needed to be how it was. Like if they had more action in there, it wouldn't have made sense because 
it's only two guys. It wasn't a whole army going. Like it was, you do see a whole army, but that's not the storyline. You're not following that. Like you're following yeah. a separate side mission, and I think it kind of it needed to be. If it was gonna be a, a this whole single shot type deal, it needed to be the way it was. So my only negative is that there was a little. I mean, I wasn't bored. I was never bored, but there was just times where like there was some slow slow parts that probably made it made it more realistic. To credit to the movie, like there's a couple of scenes where. Uh, someone's just singing for for like three minutes or he, or he's talking to it like just looking at a baby for like three minutes or like just talking to like slow scenes like that i mean i, I was never bored this is that's what there's really no yeah. negatives i mean because the, the negatives were equaled out for why they did it and what kind of movie it was this wasn't this was this is not don't go into this movie expecting it to be hacksaw ridge or or <laughs> saving private ryan just because those movies are just action over action right scenes all, all over yeah. like it's 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 following an actual battle sequence like this is kind of you see glimpses of battling, but you don't ever. You're, it's not. It's that's not what this movie is, is about. So if you go in with ex with expectations like that, I think you'll even enjoy this movie more. That is the one thing is like uh, he was saying about the action. How I love action movies just as much as anyone, and yeah, in this movie it does make sense why there's not certain just random action scenes scenes thrown in there because there's certain points where these guys they're just normal guys for the most part. So if if there's a you just randomly throw in a bunch of Germans, he's perfectly shooting them. Yeah, How difficult it is to actually shoot someone with these guns? Yeah. It's like, this is, this is they not, wouldn't happen. This is not John Wick, where yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. you're just perfect you know. headshot. Like, that's not realistic. Like, as much yeah. as I wish I could just imagine an American going out there, just pop you all like, all like that, but you'd be getting hit. Like, yeah, this is not, not don't like, expect a fake, real, unrealistic movie like John Wick, where he's just getting popping off shot. Yeah, like, that's what's so brutally realistic about this, yeah. is there's, there's a certain scene where he's shooting this one guy, and he ducks down. This isn't a spoiler. He just has to duck down, shoot, duck down. He doesn't know if you hit him. That's how it is. You, yeah. Sometimes you're firing these guns. You don't even know if you hit the guy. Yeah. And then you go in there. So if they throw in a bunch of Germans running out, they perfectly shoot them. They're going to stick to the realistic scenario where it's not easy to kill another guy in this <coughs> battlefield. And, yeah, it's not like a show or a movie where you're just getting perfect headshots every time. That's not how it works. I basically had no negatives. That was one yeah. thing I wanted to talk about. Just want to give your score. As far as like, I mean, I I feel like it's when I'm grading maybe like I'm trying to do about, like how much I enjoyed it and if I want what, if I would want to go back and see it over and over and over again, but I feel like this has to be a ten out ten out of ten for me, just as far as like a film goes. Uh, this isn't like, I, mean, I, I can't it, it's it's it does everything perfect that it's trying to do like it doesn't do anything wrong. There's nothing stupid about it. There's nothing like real. I was never bored. I was I was entertained throughout. Now, this, is, this isn't a movie I would go back to see over and over again. I mean, it's one you'd watch one time on in a the theater and probably watch it again maybe on TV yeah. or Blu-ray. But uh, I feel like I have to give this movie a 10 out of 10 just because there's really it did nothing wrong and it did so many things great. And it's just a... If you're, if you're into history and just, like, realistic stuff, I think you'd really enjoy this movie. And, uh... And this, and you're also grading for this type of movie, like a historical movie. Like this, yeah. you're not, you're not grading like this, like it's an Avengers movie yeah, no, or yeah, you're not grading the event. Yeah, yeah, so. like this, you're grading the movie. I think it has to be a ten out of ten for me. It, it, uh, it's yeah. close to, it's <laughs> close to that thing, master. Yeah, I really, I really came out of this movie. There were certain points where I was just in shock, and I definitely think this is very. I mean, I think it's an epic masterpiece to a certain point. Yeah, there is obviously this is the thing that with true stories. I wouldn't, if there was a true story movie that I thought was bad, I wouldn't, and if I was going to give it a bad grade, I wouldn't, because that's just out of respect, it's just bad, but I, I'm definitely giving this a 10 out of 10, this is an amazing movie, it is a true story, so they have to stick to what actually happened, but the way it was all portrayed, the one shot, how realistic it all looked, the setting, all the stuff they set up, and how, I mean, just the shots and how gripping it was the whole entire movie. And I, I want to go back and see this again. It was just that amazing. And I mean, I, lo I love war movies with how they show what happened. And I, it's definitely up there with Saving Private Ryan and Hacksaw Ridge. It's a different kind of movie because it's more off, off to the side of the battle. But it's, it's, it is really a masterpiece. And this is the first movie in 2020 reviewed. 10 out of 10. So and definitely be on the lookout for this one. I feel like I have a feeling this might make our top fives in the, end of the uh, year. It's a long way away, but, but uh, it's got to. And uh, I was definitely gonna say. I mean, obviously, when I said I wouldn't go see it again, I may go see it uh, if I had a chance to see it like a Omnimax, Big D type theater, just to see it on a yeah. bigger screen. I guess that'd be the one way I would see it again in theaters. And it's not like I wouldn't go back because I didn't enjoy it. It's just, I mean, 
you only see certain movies like, twice. Well, yeah. I don't even know the last movie we've seen twice, to be honest. But thanks, thanks for watching our uh, movie review of 1917. <laughs> Uh, there's, we're not gonna do a spoiler section because it really there was one thing that happened and it, it wouldn't have been enough for a whole section. Yeah. Uh, if if you guys want to see it, less than less than in the comments. I mean, so we, it's we, it's true history. Yeah. So it's hard to, if you want to hear us talk about this the spoiler that happens, we can do a quick little video on it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>